Tonight we're checking out another little night market in Da Nang. This one's called Jadam Helio Helio Night Market. Let's go inside, check it out. So they got a live band going. I think they have live music here every weekend. They got tons of food options here. So we're gonna walk around, try to find something to eat. We're kind of jamming out loud. I hope you can hear me. They got drinks and beers here. We got a couple of ciders from Dala, which is another city in Vietnam where they grow a ton of fruit. So that's pretty good. So we're having here, this is Bang Chang Tit Hao Kwai. So Bang Chang is the rice paper. Tit Hao Kwai is the crispy pork. And then we're gonna make some wraps out of that. Looks super good. Prices are gonna be a tiny bit more expensive here than eating local food, but still not too bad. This big platter was 150K, which is about six bucks. So this night market has a lot of really good options for food. Everything's geared towards tourists. So all the menus are in English and there's a ton of Vietnamese dishes that maybe you wouldn't be able to try. Otherwise, you can come here, try a bunch of different dishes if you want. Start with a piece of rice paper. We're gonna stick it to the right. This guy here. All right, so we got the rice paper and some like a big flat rice noodle in there. We'll put some mango, cucumber, a little bit of whatever this is. That is a uh, banana. Banana tree. flower. Banana tree. This is banana flower. Ah, okay. All right, yeah, good piece of meat there. That looks perfect. Yeah, we'll do a tiny bit of lettuce. Look at that, that is perfect. Roll it up. So we've got like a nook chum. This is a standard, with like fish sauce, chili, garlic. And then this one is... Mam nem. We don't want that. That's like the shrimp paste, fermented fish paste. That's awful. And Vietnamese lettuce. All right. Mm -hmm. So the sauce is really nice, a little bit sweet, a little bit sour. The um, pork has the crispy skin on it. Nice, right? Mm -hmm. So I would have thought this night market was kind of lame, very touristy. But we came a couple weeks ago for Mid-Autumn Festival. It's a holiday that happens in Vietnam about the middle of September every year and they were having big dragon dances where 15 kids carry the big dragon and one of them, there are two kids under the dragon and they're jumping around these posts and stuff. It was really cool. If you're ever in Vietnam, middle of September, keep an eye out for a mid-autumn festival activity. But anyway, we were here just for that and it was super busy. So we just saw all the food and the live band and we're like, oh, it's actually pretty cool. We'll have to come back and check it out sometime. So it's Saturday night now. It's not very busy at all. When we were here for the dragon dances the other, like a couple weeks ago, it was crazy busy. And I kind of thought that's maybe how it is all the time. But I guess maybe it's not that popular on a regular day. So it is rainy season technically. We're in the middle of October now, but the weather is amazing today. You can see I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today for the first time in since when? Eight, nine months? Since probably December last year. So the weather's finally cool. So in the rainy season, you get a perfect day like this once every three or four days of rain. So you might get lucky and get a nice day. So I think people overreact and get a little bit too worried about rainy season. Look at that nice big pizza. That play, as big as my head. This market is mostly gonna be geared towards food and live music, entertainment. They've got a little bit of a shopping area, but I don't think it's gonna be a great choice. You'd be better off going to Suncha Night Market or the Han Market for buying clothes and goods and souvenirs, that kind of thing. If you're here on a weekend, a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday night, I'd say you're better off going to the Suncha Night Market, which is where the Dragon Bridge Fire Show is. At that market, they don't have as much of a, they don't have as many options for food. It's mostly seafood. 
lobsters and clams and oysters, that kind of thing. They have better shopping and the Dragon Bridge Fire Show. Juan, what do you think of the market? Well, I think it's pretty much like every single mark night market in Vietnam, but this one is pretty much like organized. Very organized and very clean and very dry. Good looking. More food, more options. Other night market normally will be barbecue, seafood, all the time, seafood. But this one have like all the food that you want, oops, all the food that you want to try uh, in Vietnam. I think it's a good way to kill a evening on a weekday night if you're in town. Mm -hmm. Or if it's raining, everything's covered really well here. So it'd be a perfect spot to hang out, drink some beers, watch live music. I think the biggest attraction is that we got tons of different Vietnamese dishes, all on English menus, and they have everything on display also. So you don't have to know what things are, because most people don't know the names of dishes. But you can see them on display and then be like, oh, that looks good, let me try that. This market is just across the bridges. You can probably see the big Ferris wheel from almost anywhere in town. So it's right next to that, the uh, Midworld, Sunworld Park. So wherever you're staying, it'll only be a couple minute drive. Good little spot for us for a date night. We had to get out of the house because the neighbors were going off with some karaoke. <laughs> Not good karaoke. I was mostly just annoyed that they didn't invite me over and sing with them. I don't even care. I just, I just feel annoyed because like it was too loud and I can't do anything. I can't work, I can't relax, I can't hang out with my cat, I can't do anything. I love karaoke. I have no problem when anybody's singing karaoke, even when they're not like good singers. But they're having a party all day, the uncles just get shit house, and then it's not singing karaoke, it's just screaming into the microphone with the reverb set to 99. And just like, oh, uncle, please. You're killing me. All right, the band's starting up again, so it's gonna get too loud to talk. Alright, so I completely underestimated that band. Those guys were shredding up there. That was awesome. They're playing like rock and roll, Ozzy Osbourne, Final Countdown, mixed in with Vietnamese jams. So that was pretty awesome. It's worth coming to this market just for the band alone. If those guys play all the time, I don't know. I'm so jealous, young dude shredding on stage, tearing up that guitar. All right, so market, solid option, Helio Night Market. Worth a, worth a stop for sure. So Helio Market. Helio Market. Helio. Helio Market. Helio Market. Helio Market. Check out the Helio Hello. Market. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.